Holy crap, troopers, we're back. You like my Eddie custom light knob? Yeah. Well, I'm about to show you a hack job that Mickey Mouse himself would be proud of. So we drained our level down here a little bit on this clutch slave, which is what we're on about again. And uh, we're just gonna top that up real quick and then close her up because I have succeeded in hacking a clutch slave cylinder from a V6 MUA transmission, don't forget the button, and putting it on a four cylinder MUA transmission. So it's definitely a hack job that I did not want to do, but as I explained in the uh, last video, which is likely going to be the next video, uh, I have a clutch slave that is on order. It doesn't arrive until tomorrow, and I need this trooper to work. So let's check it out. You can see what I've done, because uh, I think, honestly, Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, and Go uh, Goofy, they'd all line up and say, hey, man, that works. So here it is. It's sitting in line pretty good. Um, you can see the hose there is bent on 180, which I didn't want to do, but the retainer pin locks in that way. And so I did it. And the bolt on the bottom you can see, I didn't want to do, but that keeps the slave cylinder in line with the fork and it holds it steady as I'm pushing down on the pedal. And so that was the big deal is that that, uh, that mounting tab on the lower side is too far forward for the four cylinder MUA. So on the five cylinder there's about another inch of uh, mounting surface there and that's why the tabs are in different positions on the four cylinder they're right across from each other. So what I've done is I've taken a bolt that's a little bit longer than the actual mounting bolt, coarse thread. I've jammed it in the hole on an angle while I had the top bolt about a half inch loose just to give me some play so I could move the slave cylinder around a little bit. Uh, those teeth are basically biting into uh, the side of the transmission. They're biting into some aluminum that does not have threads on it so that's no big deal because the threads for that uh, bolt are actually in the cast iron block on the other side. So, yeah, I'm chewing up the side of that uh, hole a little bit, but it's on the inside. Nobody's ever going to see it, and it doesn't make any functional difference. And in the meantime, I tighten down the top bolt, which is the proper mounting bolt, as tight as hell. I'm telling you, that one is on there strong. And so I've just bled it, f I've bled it a few times by myself. Um, you know, I'm, I'm definitely lacking an evacuation kit, a one-man bleeder kit. Um, so I just did it the old school way by myself for a few pumps. That's going to give me enough clutch action to go and pick up an assistant. So I'll drive across town right now and I'll go pick up my assistant and then we'll bleed it out properly. But look at that. Slave cylinder off of a GM V6 MUA transmission fitting onto the Isuzu 4Z E1 MUA transmission. It's a hack job that Mickey would give me the thumbs up on. But we don't generally like to do hack jobs because this is definitely not proper. It's got to last one day. That's it. And we should be happy campers. All right, troopers. Just wanted to let you know how skookum that actually worked out. Even though it's not proper. Later.